What is thinking a tank? Uh, it's new. It's something that I. Um, <laughs> it's something that I was really looking forward to. To be quite honest, I'd seen the images uh, of the building that's behind me, and I was fascinated uh, by its inside and outside. That there's an obvious outside. It's quite raw. It's an old disused gas container and uh, it's been transformed into something absolutely magical inside. And uh, I was waiting with anticipation to get inside it. I knew that there was going to be something very special inside it. So what's inside and what's special about thinking a tank is actually the ideas that then come through thinking in a tank. We've submerged ourselves uh, for several hours uh, with a group of disparate people uh, from all over Europe today uh, to discuss what is uh, an incredibly important topic. Um, I feel like I'm the luckiest man on the planet, to tell you the truth. Uh, always, practically now. After a 37 year career, uh, I have been given an opportunity to take a reflective turn. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, I moved out of the corporate world uh, and went back into an academic world. We think that uh, design and architecture is this incredibly creative uh, process but a lot of it's actually just hard work. It's quite laborious, it's uh, quite pragmatic. Uh, we have to uh, respond to clients needs, we have to spend their money as wisely as we possibly can. We have to cater for the general public. There's all these stakeholders that we have to then be responsible to. But inside it, inside that the essence of design is actually to be innovative and to invent something and create new values. There's something missing out of this conversation, which is me and you are just sharing this light. Yeah. And the over-personalization scares the living daylights out of me, to tell you the truth. Because it's light collective and <laughs> So, and and we, we, we all sat under the same light. We have one sun. There's only one. There's only one source. You know. and, and, uh, exactly. And that's a lovely thing. So I'm hoping that uh, what thinking a tank might produce, what's its, its operation, uh, is actually that it creates innovation rather than reinvention. To invent something which is fresh, add new value. We're at a time where digital and uh, analog uh, technologies are coming back together again. It's taken 75 years as a, being a part. They've been schisms, but they're actually then coalescing again. And in that coalescence, there is a new period, a new generation, something new can come through that. Good value, I hope.